Hey guys, I wanted to do um, a quick YouTube video about this, uh, about how to read a keep a chart, uh, mostly for beginners. So um, when you're starting and you hear people talking about Keepa, this up here is what they're talking about, keepa.com. Um, when you look at an item, it's going to give you a ton of information. So I'm going to try to make it easy for you. First, I would unselect pretty much everything um, that is over there on the right side of the bar. Um, and then you only want to select the information that you're interested in. There's a lot of things in here that I don't care about, um, like if you use good, used like new, warehouse deals, ratings, things like that don't really affect me and don't really matter. Um, so what does matter to me usually is if Amazon is in stock, I like to know the historical new price for it. I like to add FBA offers. So all those little triangles are, are FBA offers. I like to know who's winning the buy box. It looks like the buy box is over here and then maybe it was suppressed at some point. Um, so the, the red triangles, the, the red uh, diamonds are the buy box. All right, and then this is the most important one right here, sales rank, okay? So the green line indicates sales rank. Um, Keepa is inverted, so a sales rank of one is down here at the bottom, a sales rank of a million is up there at the top. So anytime the sales rank goes down, that indicates that someone purchased it. So when I'm looking at a sales rank, I'm looking basically for movement. I don't necessarily care what these numbers are, as long as this is moving. If it looks like a heartbeat, um, or if it looks like a skyline, then that's gonna be really good. So I can see at the beginning of June it sold, and then the middle of June this sold, and the beginning of July it sold. I see a lot of sales. Um, and this is just looking at the past three months. I can look at all time, and I, I know that this item is selling. Maybe it doesn't sell as well between January to um, July, or, oh, this was priced at $20 back then. Yeah, so the price went up, uh, and it wasn't as popular. Now I see up here, it did get quite popular. I see a lot more people pricing it at maybe $15, $16, um, and then customers wanted to buy it. So with this item, if I was looking at this graph, um, I would personally look at about the past three months. I would look right here. I would see a ton of movement. It is ranked pretty low, so this is, this is flying off the shelf. Um, so that's basically how you read it. I'm going to give you um, another example. So I'm going to pull up Exploding Kittens, uh, a game that we like to play. Uh, and this is just my, uh, my barcode scanner that I'm using with my computer. Um, all right, so sometimes you'll have a few different options. I know that this top option is really the only one I'm interested in because it's the only one that has information. So we click on this, go into it. And this is one of the best selling games on Amazon. Back at the beginning of July, this was ranked seven in all of toys. So, so thousands of these were selling every day. Um, I see Amazon is on this. So this orangish kind of colored section, that indicates that Amazon themselves is on it. So I'm toggling this on and off so you can see that. Um, when you see this color, that means Amazon themselves is selling it and they are in stock. Um, usually we don't really care unless we're going really deep on something. Um, if I'm just buying one or two of an item, I will sell with Amazon and usually they will share the buy box. Um, so this, it would be hard to find this game for a profitable amount. Um, but yeah, I, I can tell that this is selling well. So if I did find this for a dollar or two, definitely I would get some listed up there. All right, then I wanted to show you one more example. Um, so this is a book. Actually, a friend of ours wrote this. All right. So this book does not have the same kind of sales rank that something like Exploding Kittens has. It's not the number seven ranked toy. Um, right now it's ranked about a million and a half in books. So the millionth and a half most popular book as of today. Um, when I look at the sales rank, so I'm gonna click 324 days. So this is over the past year. I see it actually had quite a few sales when it first came out. Um, they were probably either doing some advertising or telling their friends about it. Um, so I had quite a few sales here at the beginning. Every time the sale dropped, indicate that people were buying it. And then some more sales up here. But then as we get into the middle of March, the sales kind of stop. And you see this just kind of looks like a big slope. This means not a single person purchased this book from the beginning of March all the way until about when June starts right here. 
Um, I would guess that one person purchased this at the beginning of June, and then there was no other purchases, no other purchases, no other purchases until the end of August down here, all right? Um, and at the end of August, it looks like there were two sales. So like August 20th and then August 25th or something right there and there. Um, and, then, and then there hasn't been sales since. So when you see a graph that looks like this, every time it drops, every time there's a cliff, um, that indicates a sale. If I saw this um, like at a thrift store or something for a dollar, I would probably pick it up because I know it does sell. It's not flying off the shelf, um, but it does sell. If I had seen this book and scanned it, let's say in the middle of August when it was ranked two and a half million, I might not have initially picked it up. But if I had looked at the Keepa chart, I would have realized this does sell a few times a year. So it's worth a dollar or two um, to get this. And then if I had gotten it at the middle of August, boom, the next day I would have sold it. So you can't always just judge a item by its rank because the rank is always changing day to day. Uh, every 15 minutes, Amazon up updates the rank. So, um, so yeah, so that's how you read a keep a chart. That's what we look at. Um, there are some other pieces of information that some people use like new offer count. We can see how many people are on a listing um, or the review count, see how many people are reviewing it. Um, we'll sometimes look at those, but basically it's just this stuff up here. Um, who has the buy box, which again, the uh, red diamonds, what the sales rank is, which is the green line, um, the, I'm gonna toggle that off, the new price, what it's selling for new, and if Amazon is in stock, which is the orange area. All right, all right, okay. I hope that answers you guys' questions. Um, feel free to drop a comment below if you have any more. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that. Uh, and then head over to our Facebook group, Hustle Buddies, uh, over on Facebook. Um, where there's a ton of free information, a great community that we're building up there. Um, if you have questions, drop it there and usually someone can answer. All right. Okay. We'll see you guys later. Hustle on.